early today. Well, it feels early because we've been sleeping in a little bit since the pandemic situation. It's about 8.15. We are on our way to work. Um, today, not a whole lot going on. We're just gonna get in a few hours before he goes off to his other job. And we're, we've got some contractors meeting us there today to give us a few bids for painting, HVAC, things like that. And we're going to take out some cabinet doors, clean up the floors from ripping the carpet out. What else? Do a little bit of cleanup. Yeah. Maybe. Definitely cleanup. Definitely some cleanup. Um, not a whole lot, but we're going to try to fit quite a bit into just a few hours. So just chip away at it a little bit each time. Eventually, it will get it done. He's the best. All right, we'll see you there in just a few minutes and get to work. The GoPro's dead. You do not have it. No, I tried the only key that we have. that was in there, it's missing. So when we pulled up, there was some trash in the driveway. Like, we were just here and there was no trash in the driveway because we personally like were in the driveway and there was no trash. Well, when we got back today, there was like a box of like clothes and beer bottles and stuff in the driveway that someone had dumped. And Ryan's like, that's the box that was in the shed. So. Somebody had obviously come back and got the box out and then they locked the shed. So we were, right, it's like, what if someone's in there? So it was a little bit like, well, maybe there could be, but no one was in there. Thank goodness. Um, I only worry about that squatter because the home inspection report had said that some, it looked like someone had been in the attic. So we need to change some locks today. My GoPro died. So we're going to be filming all on my phone today, which is exciting. We are taking cabinets down today because these are going to get all trimmed out. All right, push me all the way. Whoever lives here was all like organized. Look, they have like their labels on there, like soup, cereals, box goods. They should come to my pantry. 29 cabinets. <laughs> so many <laughs> to trim out. Holy crap. Okay, so right now we have put a piece of tape on each door and they have like a little number on them. Um, and I am now labeling the inside. Oh my gosh, sucks not having the GoPro by the way. So now I'm taking a little piece of tape. I'm putting it on the inside of the cabinet like this. And this is cabinet number 23. So I'm right cabinet number 23 on here. So that way, when we come back, after we facing these, we know exactly where they go because you don't want to get them mixed up, especially when there's this many of them. That would really suck. So it's always a good sign when you find a cabinet full of mouse poop. I mean, you know what helps? Oh, that helps. Uh, the Hanta virus in there it scares me. I hate mouse poop. Yeah, I don't know how to get the drawers out up here. Is there like a button? Oh, I think so, actually. Oh, fancy that. There is a button. cabinets off and giving them a fresh makeover is really what is going to make a huge difference I'll tell you what if I was buying a new house 
and the kitchen wasn't fresh, man, that'd be a no-go for me. So, we're gonna try to make this an important feature. You're so cute on camera. I could take you all day, babe. <laughs> no response. <laughs> sure. I was trying to flirt with you. It's called focused intensity. I was dreading this task and actually it's pretty fun. So I'm gonna get to it. Come along. up a sweat in here Whew. I happened to pass by this cute little bathroom <laughs> um, whoever lived here before decided this was gonna be a cute idea it's like <laughs> glass beads stuck on the window <laughs> who, who would do this I they're trying to like make the glass not see-through I get it but there's much better options out there. Um, they also thought this would be a really cool decorative feature. They glued a bunch of rocks onto the side of the tub. I just have to laugh sometimes at the design decisions that some people make. I'm gonna take a break from scraping the floors and do a little demo in this bathroom because I can't stand to look at it anymore. It's so bad. It's Are you filming me sweeping? I am. Just can't get enough of you, baby. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Okay, we're gonna wrap it up for the day. We got quite a bit of work done. We got partial bathroom demo done. We got several of the floor scraped. We got all the cabinets labeled and removed. As you can see, they're in the back of my truck so I can bring those home and work on refinishing them at home. Um, and I mean, that kind of, that was a lot of work even. We've only been here for a couple hours, but we did get, Quite a bit done. Just chip away at it a little bit every single day. Hi, baby. I'm alrighty. Oh, nothing. I was just telling the the YouTube fam we're done for the day. Got quite a bit done. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Got the floor scraped. Cabinets are all behind us. Bringing those cabinet doors home where I can work on them um, is going to be very helpful. Seeing as how you know. Our kids aren't in school for what appears to be the rest of the school year. They can help you, Sam. <laughs> I need to be home with them. I'm fine leaving them for a couple hours, but not all day. So this will help me be able to stay at home. So. Okay, fun day. Go home, beat the kids. Good times. All right, we'll see you. Um, we'll see you next time in a few days. Bye. Do you want to say bye? Bye. <laughs> Bye.